Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tashi and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a kind of everyday glowy look, just sharing with you guys my everyday look when I'm here in Maui. It's very minimalistic, very glowy, natural, kind of just enhancing my natural features, kind of a no makeup, makeup type of look. This is just the look that I do when I am gonna be filming videos or taking Instagram pictures, going to dinner. Very easy, simple. I did wanna mention that this video is in collaboration with Glossier. I absolutely cannot believe it because I've been a fan of Glossier since I was 14 and this is just a dream come true. I've always wanted to work with them, so I'm really stoked. So thanks to them for sponsoring. So without further ado, subscribe if you're new. Let's get straight into this. I just cleansed my skin with the Milky Jelly Cleanser. This has been a staple in my routine for, I don't know, five years. Years. I've probably gone through about like six or seven bottles of this. It's with me in my travel bag. This is a really, really great, versatile product. Takes off your makeup and cleans your face. I've also been trying out the Glossier Solution. I have only tried it for a few weeks now. I definitely see a little bit of change in the texture of my skin. I only use this like every few days because I feel like I don't need to exfoliate all that much. This is a chemical exfoliant, by the way, but I exfoliated yesterday, so I'm not gonna exfoliate today because I don't like to over exfoliate my skin, especially especially when I feel like it's doing pretty well. I like to keep it kind of just doing its thing. Let's dive into skincare. I very much care a lot more about skincare than I do about makeup. So I'm gonna use this little face cream from Walida. This is a calendula face cream. It's actually for babies, but I really love the way that it makes my skin feel. Anything that's targeted towards babies, I kind of tend to go for. I'm like, if this can be on a baby skin, it's good enough for me, you know? I love this moisturizer. It's incredibly moisturizing. It's very like rich and creamy. I love the way it makes my face feel. Next up, I go in with the Glossier Bubble Wrap. Love this product so much. It's incredibly hydrating and so good for the under eyes. Kind of like this whole area all around here. I'm pretty generous with this product. I just kind of like focus it mainly on the under eyes and then kind of just drag it outwards. I really find that this helps to hydrate my under eyes and any area on my face that has like a little extra dryness and also places that I feel like wrinkle more easily, like my smile lines. I also take whatever extra I have Put on my lips. My lips get really dry really easily, so I love any extra little moisturizer I can get. Okay, so I'm like really obsessed with dewy skin. I think you've all kind of like got that by now, but when Glossier came out with the Future Dew, I lost it. I'm a big fan of Glossier. I'm always kind of like going after all their launches, and I was so excited to try this product. It's just as good as I thought it would be. It's really, really just beautiful on the skin. I mainly focus it on the outer parts of my face, Okay, so next up, I know lots of skincare products. My skin first, makeup second, very much glossy as well thing. I love this face filter. This is the primer from Tula. This is ProAR skincare. I love the way that this makes my skin look. I just feel like it gives me a very blurred look, but still keeps my skin very glowy. Yeah, I focus this mainly on the center of my face, anywhere I want a little bit of blurring and where I really want my makeup to hold. And also makes me not have to wear as much makeup and foundation, which is ultimately the goal is to just not have to wear any makeup at all and just have perfect skin, like that's the goal. Next up, I wanna prep my lips with a little hydration, the Balm.com from Glossier. I have every single flavor. I love this product so much. This combination to die for. Love these two products together. This is the Skin Tint. I'm in shade G8, in case you're wondering. A little trick I learned is to put your foundation or skin tint or whatever on the front of your palm instead of the back because it doesn't absorb as well on your palm, whereas the back of your hand will take a lot of the product in and then you'll end up wasting product. A little trick that I learned probably on set, I'm not sure. So this is even a little bit light for me right now, but I just love the way that this product makes my skin look. Like it's very, very natural and very, very minimal, but it just gives my skin a very overall kind of similar coloration just to kind of like help me out in the redness department a little bit, but still keeping my skin like very me, just like an elevated version of me. And then anywhere else, I will use a little bit of the stretch concealer. This is also in G8. This is like an under eye miracle worker, I swear to God. Like look at how much brighter this under eye is. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to set my skin with some pressed powder. This is just a translucent pressed powder. And I'm only gonna set this main like triangle area under my eyes, just cause I don't wanna be too oily underneath my eyes or on my cheeks right here and just kind of keep the glow mainly on this kind of outer half of my skin so that the rest of my face can just like a little bit on my forehead. By doing this, I'm kind of just focusing the glow to be on the high points of my skin instead of like my whole face be oily and it look like I just worked out or something. Little tricksy. And also that just like helps to keep your makeup on throughout the day. Next up, a little bit of bronzer. This is the Milk Chocolate Matte Bronzer from Too Faced. Love bronzer so much. I put bronzer everywhere that I possibly can. I just love looking bronzy and glowy. I'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer and just pop that into my crease just to give myself a little bit of definition in the eye. When I'm doing a minimalistic look, I'm trying to kind of like use every product to the fullest extent that they have. That way I don't have to bring eyeshadow and bronzer with me. Let's do a little bit of cheek as well. This is a little blush color from Tarte. Just use the same brush. I love the look of like a little rosy nose. We're looking very sun-kissed, aren't we? So next up, some brows. I haven't really found like a holy grail brow product. I basically just use whatever I have. I'm super messy with my brows. I'm not very particular with them. They look different every single day. I just like a very messy brow. I usually use the boy brow actually from Glossier. I mean, it'll do. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with this Shu Amura eyelash curler because my lash lift has faded away. It's crazy the difference curling your eyelashes makes. That's crazy. Okay, so for mascara, this is the duo of a lifetime. This is the Glossier Lash Slick and the Honest Beauty Mascara and Lash Primer. So I used the primer from Honest Beauty because this is the best lash primer on the face of the earth. And then I use Lash Slick. Dude, I've been doing my mascara for so many years, I do not need a mirror. I almost forgot my highlight, which is Obviously what we're all here for. This is a wet n wild highlighter literally. I don't know freaking five dollars and it is so good I'm very generous with highlighter. I put it on the tip of my nose the bridge of my nose my inner corners Honestly like anywhere I can. Okay, finally last but not least some lips. This is the generation G in like Some lip gloss in clear All right guys, so that is the completed look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at Tringsby. All of the Glossier products will be shoppable in the description down below, so definitely make sure to check it out. I love makeup, it makes me feel so confident and I feel just like so beautiful and so myself when I wear natural and kind of like enhancing looks. I love this look, I hope you guys like it and if you try it out, let me know. That's it for today, I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water. Peace.